Hello. It's good to see you again. I was promised that we were going to have a good fight with our old friends, the Imperium. And it was going to be in my time zone. So like a good soldier, I hopped into my nightmare battleship and went along for the ride. Upon arrival, things were not looking good for the friendly Bargus fleets on the field. But luckily, they were able to extract off the field before things got too bad for them. Having no previous knowledge of the fight at hand, it looks like an armor timer on the Forders are and Horde Dreadnoughts have already begun engaging it before our arrival. On the enemy side of the battlefield, we have the Initiatives, who brought around 220 Tempest fleet issues with afterburners instead of micro jump drives fitted. They will come to regret this decision later on in the video. Comment below on how many you think survive. Kek W. Goons brought Brave and Navy issues, and Rokes, although I did not see them, to be able to engage us at upwards of 160 km range, even with Fury cruise missiles. While this does sound great in theory as missiles damage application is generally good, but unhindered, our afterburner fitted nightmares exploit the way explosion radius, signature radius, speed works in missile damage calculation, which reduces their overall DPS application to a mere 150 DPS at best. Also on grid with them were carriers. That's pretty much all I have to say about them. On our side of the battlefield were Rokes and Ferox navies, and a fairly large contingent of long-range dreadnoughts to engage the Fortisar in extreme ranges. This would mean that they would have to come to us to contest the siege, and for a while there, we weren't sure if they were going to commit. Can one of our dictators try and get in a position from where we are to like just stop bubble from the Zarzak game? So these did stop warping by us. Uh, I can do it. I'm dragging from the station right now. Though. Load, uh, load standard, load standard, load standard. Straight onto flaming butterfly. Right. You can lock shoot on Rasta Sun. Oh, but he's dying to another fleet actually, so we'll go on. Uh... In fact, do, do try Rasta Sun, seeing as I shot him. He's dead. I got him. Hell yeah, brother. Arch now. Arch, then Teleisk. What standard loaded? Teleisk. Teleisk now, yeah. Teleisk. And then uh, we'll kill the one uh, one raven that came. Evil Alice. Doomer. Then epic mushroom. Let's keep this up, it's a nice speed. Vincent Elson, don't check your anchor. Yeah, it's very important you do not fall off the anchor here, because it's a pretty pretty nasty. Then grindwold. Don't split damage, yeah. Don't split damage. Alright, epic now. Then grindwold. Grindwold now. It's nice, guys. Let's keep this pace up. Grindwald, then Doctor Trust. Sprinting, A beats on, hardeners on, take out drugs, get on headliner. 
Okay, Alanetri now. Then Siri. Then Stone. Alright, Siri now. Siri. Then Stone. You ignore that rock that was broadcast. Then Curse. K U R. Stone now. Stone, then Curse. You've taken your pyro, taken your friend, Dix, taken radium drug. You just came in. Can we drop any non-essential stuff so more uh, nightmares can get in? We're shooting curse now, then Kulin. Drop random shit that we don't need. I dropped a few myself. Ready to uh, jump these dudes if they try and warp away. Yeah, but it's holding on beta will. Okay. Well, be ready to switch to new. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. application drive is like a quarter if they should just the Raven needs a really bad choice from that. Yeah, I agree. So we're shooting Y, then Exterminator. We must focus fire, please. Even though we're killing them quick. Exterminator, then Deep Fry. And then Kalers. Kalers and Sire. Dictus. So, Dictus, if these guys, if these fuckers try and run, the, the Tempest fleet issues, the Init fleet is AB fit without MJDs today. So, we'll need you to dive them when we tell you to. Start thinking about how you're going to do that. Without their micro jump drive, they had no means of escape, and the TFIs were heavily interdicted and webbed. There was no escaping the meat grinder now. Very nice job. Sigmund now. Keep getting your tackle off, really, too. We're going to need those soon if they're running, if they're going to try to run here. A lot of these dudes are dying to other fleets, just keep doing them in the order I broadcast and it's the one that's dead is, you know, just move on. So Apollo, then Uncrewed, then Hope Tom. No hope for Hope Tom. Vlad, how long on your red? 10 seconds. Wobbles and wobble the TFI because it would be huge after Rainer Fit with no MJDs. I'm really looking for Wobbles Musky. Yeah, the best. Yeah, I'm doing well. the The enemies were losing battleships at record speed. They were not just being shot by a single group of dreadnoughts, nor two, but three. Guys, please keep checking your anchor, it's difficult to see in this mess. We could also probably look at putting the Ishtars in their own fleet now, if possible. Oh, uh, we, we need uh, drone uh, target bunnies, drone bunnies, we don't have them right now. Do you not just use your own Ishtar? We don't have the targeting range on those Ishtars to do it. Could we put like one recon in fleet? You, everything we're shooting is like 80 from it. He's coming close. Or, or they're like in full panic mode. Yeah, he's coming close with the assurance. It's not a big deal. You can come a little closer. They're like running from us at this point. They're in full, full, uh, panic. Keep following. Ahead, would you like me to go for a hit point on Darwin? No, 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 that's okay. I mean, maybe you can get caught in one or something. I'll do it if I get in range. I've got one on Slick Steve as well right now. Oh, nice. 
so they're being they're clearing sabers at this point, so we need to stagger in our sabers so don't every one P don't want. I can hand you new sabers in one success if you die. Trade my ult here. Queuing up a few more losers here. Don't forget this Raven as well, DYN. I'm gonna we put... need you to be vocal if you're doing this for us as well, because these guys are fucked up. They're in AB TFIs. It's gonna be very hard for them to get away from you. I'm more or less at zero on them. Currently tanking half of the fleet. Just keep shitting bubbles on them then, you're a good man. Heck point on Darwin. Hell yeah. Can you follow my broadcast please in the order they can be? Make sure you check your anchor. Cyclones are yellow boxing me. It's alright, just broadcast, you'll be fine. Let's get some more dictors onto these TFIs. Let's send you some. I'm open in now. I will go. They're, so, they're calling to shoot dictors, guys, and just stagger in in like pairs and threes, not all at once. Yeah. So please, like, just put it somewhere. I don't know where we want to organize it. Are we wobbling the TFIs? If they are bu dictor bubbled, yes. We need more bubbles on the TFIs right now, please. Well, can we, can we sort that out then first? Can we. I'm coming into system now who to warp to. I'm on my I can warp to. the bubble. Zengen, then Jason, then Idra, then Kurtash. Take your pyro, your sin, and your frantics once it expires here in a couple seconds, guys. Okay, they're going back to the Frox Navies, I think. After it goes out. Alright, Jason drone slinging out, then Idraheim. Then Kurtash. Fleet Admiral X, check your anchor. Guys, everybody recheck your anchor, please. It's really important now. They're going off sure. the prog. Then I bring a rook in here that keeps trying to jam me. So Jason, mm. then Idra, then Kurtash, then Admiral, then the rook. Sorry, Krenta, Krenta, then the rook. If you're looking to warp in on Dictors, just warp to sort by Rex. There's a ton of Rex right on top of them. You can just warp. Uh, had F and I's are shooting the Ishtars, do we care? Can you, can you just move them away or something? Or could you start killing them? I don't know. Right now we're assisting to Nightmare. Can you just Wait. move away? Yeah. You should just pour in drop off if you can. Warp. Granta fan. Tasma, Chosen, oh Grey T, those are your targets in that order, please. Start working. Turning around, going towards them. Let's keep working on these bozos. Kranta now, then Phantasma, then Chosen, then El Grey T, then God King Panda. The TFIs are now wobbled. Beautiful. Then chosen, then chosen. They're getting shit on by beamers now as well. So we're going to turn around and uh, close the gap a bit. The saber is dead. I imagine you guys are still in pods, and that's why you haven't reshipped it. You just still haven't died yet. Does that it? Yeah, I'm in a pod, dude. Right okay. along. You're in bubbles too, I imagine. Oh yeah, I'm not going anywhere. Right. For dictors just coming in, we have two mobile dictors on top of them still. So if you're coming in, load bubbles and look for your opening, please. So Earl Grey T, then Caden Lee, then Ethan, then Sir, then Kayla. Ed, if we can go a little bit closer if possible. We are going closer. Okay. Flying directly at them. You land and you dig to your get immediate transversal against the Ferox navies. That's going to be your primary uh, threat. Also, feel free to pre broadcast in dict as we're keeping you alive if you broadcast. So, Ryan Solo, then Sasha. Then Yuri, then Adama. Let's keep, let's keep uh, like trickling those dictors on. You're doing a great job. We currently have like uh, six on them, and we're keeping them alive, so... Okay, just make sure they don't get away. Like, we've waited literally years for this. Like, oh, we're just like probably. gaping dark shines, like, on two different fleets. Mm -hmm. 
Sasha, Yuri, Adama, Mad Dog, North. Op C, check your nightmare. Yeah, come on. Let's, let's not fall Thank off you. with those. Still a little bit of a risk here. Alright, two targets done. Adama, then Mad Dog, then North. Then Enigma B, then Tear Junk. Tear Junk might be dead actually. Some of these are dying before we get to them, but it's cool, I'll just keep broadcasting. Right, they, they might starburst their tier fires, so let's 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 broadening let's broaden the dictors on them a little bit, like just like fan out. So let's get two more down there just as insurance. We currently have uh, like seven dictors on them, dude. Uh, we're, we're, we're keeping. That's fine, but I, you know, say you fuck up and like six dictors die, and we only have one left. So, uh, just for the record, we're keeping flag out. Just live save is a game valid. Like as sure is the best dictor, by the way. It's getting real ugly for them now. Like really, really ugly. Yeah, my face is starting to get assaulted. Four or five TFIs dying at once now. What do you think their carriers are doing? Power projecting. <laughs> Exercising their freedom of tether. I'm turning away because we have tracking problems now. Hard life. It looks like they are starbursting now. Do you want us to do anything specific? Yes. Yeah, they've been pulled. Right now. Check. It looks like a lot of them are lining out to the stations. They're, they're being told to starburst and warp off in the TFI and just see as we're wearing tackle. Well, we're at a good range for dictors anyway. We, we can, we've got about 20 kilometers. Station they came, it was pretty much over, and we were just mopping up ships, sort of by range. Yeah, you can start shooting battleships by range now. Or you can follow my broadcast, it's entirely up to you. Uh, we will kill these damnations actually. Bridge up, take the, take the bridge, Louise. Just make sure we shoot the damnation rumor line. If you have a dictor on top of the fleet, go down to the lodgy that just got bush on top of us. Get some bubbles on them if you can, please. Spread scrams on those latches, spread, spread points on all the lodgy that just got bushed. Are you guys tanking the sabers okay as the flycatchers? Yeah. Uh, sabers are 50 50, flycatchers are Gucci. You can shoot any cruiser uh, by range now. 
lots of them in range of us. Just lock and shoot by range. They're telling the enemy is being told to dock in the fort, they're gonna fire PDS. Just be aware if your tackle's diving. Should build like a couple cycles, but. That pretty much wraps up the fight. I'd like to mention that no nightmares were harmed in the making of this video. I'll leave you now with some closing remarks from Headliner. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time. Uh, really nice job we'll ping the battle report in a little short summary, but um, thank you for coming on early or staying up late, whichever time zone you're in. It's well worth it. Very nice job. Thank, thank you for fleet. Thank you for fleet. Good fleet. I'd also like to point out the superiority of the flycatcher over the saber in this engagement.